Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Spirit Mod. And, uh, as you can see, the, we're a little bit besieged by Space Jellyfish again. We already dealt with these guys, though, so I'm not really super concerned about what's going on right now. It's just gonna be a little distraction whilst we get to the business at hand. Which today, since I really didn't do anything off-camera at all, because I haven't really played this at all since, uh, the end of the last episode, we, uh, are just gonna go on to the next thing, which is the Ancient Avian. And they are spawned via giant magic space egg in the sky layer, I think on the outer thirds, or we can use some of these lovely feather crowns right here that drop from, uh, ancient apostles, which are like miniature versions of the Ancient Avian. So, we're gonna go up there into the sky and we're gonna see what's going on. We're gonna do the thing. So right now, I, I mean, this is annoying. I need to make the, the space jellies go away. Can the abomination help me with that? You don't think there's an event right now? I think you'd better get your pumpkin eyeballs checked because there's definitely an event going on outside, right? There's goings on, goings on. All right, fine, fine. I guess I'll deal with it. Whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Let's go over to, uh, well, I don't know. Let's see where the fastest way to get to the thing would be. I need gravitation potions. I don't have any. Do I have the ability to get up into the sky? All right, I'll buy some then. Where are you, person that I buy the things from? You're somewhere in this place. You've got stuff and things. Hello. I need this. A few of this. A few of the this, please. Thank you. And we are gonna go take the magic conch to the teleport to the other place, and here we go. It's gotta be actually, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna die real fast because, I mean, really, that is the fastest way to get back to your house. We're gonna go to the other side, believe it or not. We're gonna uh, explore across space in the asteroid field real fast because, you know, I can get up here, so why not? There we go. We've got meteorites falling from the sky. This is a lovely little place up here. It's where one of my favorite bosses are fought, actually. His little area is around here somewhere. It's a little, uh, beacon. You can summon him. For those of you that don't know, you'll find out. Can I do anything while I'm up here? Is it possible? Can I grab some of the- some of this stuff? I can break the asteroid blocks. Are they for anything? Turquoise lens. I can summon a mystic moon. Rock candy. Interesting. Increased life regen. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's neat. Oh, here it is. This is the thing I was telling you about. This is the thing what does the summoning of the Starplate Voyager. It's a, a worm boss that doesn't act like a worm boss, so it's actually a good boss. All right, we're out of that. Now we're just looking for the egg. But he's got to be around here somewhere. Not through this guy, depending on how easy he is. I'll probably try to take down Skeletron as well. Oh, wow, that's really low to the ground. I wonder if the, uh, maybe I got to go down here instead. Maybe I just went, like, way too high. What is that? Hello? Why are you lightning bolting me right now? Get out of here. Oh, hello. I think this is it. Is this it? Is this the place? This looks like a sky island. It's got some things on it. Oh yeah, this is the one. See that giant egg? This is it right here. You have to disrupt it. And then there's this thing. What is this? This is new. We have a sign. The text is ineligible. Yeah, I bet it is. It looks a little uh, ancient, if you you might say. Yeah, yes. I'm definitely not fighting this thing up in space if I can help it because my God, this is this this right here. Nope. We're not doing it. What we got here? A little tire swing? A little, little sit here under the umbrella? That's kind of neat. I don't know if that's a reference to anything. <laughs> but if it is, it doesn't matter. I won't get it anyway. If it's any way related to any kind of anime anything, I could almost guarantee I will not get the reference. Hey, look at this. Another sky garden. Is this another? Oh, it is. It's another egg. So, you know, I don't even have to go back as far. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Here we go. It's the exact same structure, just in a different spot. Okay. Well, let's disturb the egg and see what happens. Here I go. Hey, it's a ancient avian. Maybe we will fight him up here. I just don't want to go up to space with him, you know what I mean? Jettisoned giant. Hmm. Jettisoned. Jettisoned avian, yes. Come on, kill stuff now. I'm taking damage, you see. I need to make that not happen. All right, I changed my mind. We're going down. We're not fighting him in the sky. Not happening. If he despawns, then... Yep, well, we're just not going to fight him then. I'm not doing this in the sky. Nope, not happening. All right, so we've almost got him down again here. As it turns out, fighting him on a giant, uh, flat, wide-open area seems to be a little bit more efficient than a random platform in the middle of some random biome in the middle of nowhere, especially whenever you're within walking distance of your base and you can just nurse cheese if you get low on health because I definitely should have died already. But it's fine, because I have the power of cheese, right? 
I'm the whole block of cheddar, buddy. You just wait. <laughs> you don't know nothing yet. Uh, but ball man, that's not a compelling challenge. You're not fighting it in the intended way. The intended way to kill the boss is to kill it. As long as the boss dies, I did it the intended way. All right, here we go. We're almost done. 300, 200, and come on, lights out. Come on. Oh, my God. And he's dead. All right, there we go. We did it. We got a blank glyph, and we got the treasure bag. Hello, what would we get? Soaring scapula. So garbage. Ha ha ha. All right, we got the Apostle set, a magic set, avian hook. Striking tiles allows the player to float briefly. Oh, it does like a brief feather fall. Okay, that's kind of cool. I think I like that. That's, I think I like that more than the web slinger. So we're going to deposit all that. I have no idea if the Apostle set is going to be any good. Do, is there a summon for me? Let me find out. Okay, there is a skeleton staff. An army of fossilized birds, eh? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I would go after that if it wasn't for the fact that I'm fairly certain that uh, I can defeat Skeletron Prime just fine with what I've got. So, I'm not even gonna bother. You see, I would fight the boss again, but then I gotta fight the boss again. I don't wanna fight the boss again, I just want the loot. And I can't buy it from this lady yet, because, you know, gotta beat Skeletron. So, you know, that's it kind of a bummer. I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can buy it. I wonder. No, there's nothing there. All right, well, I guess we'll go beat Skeletron, then come back and buy stuff. That's probably what I'm going to do. We're going to zoom out to the uh, outer thirds of the world, build a little arena, and hopefully by nightfall it's good to go. I don't have very much wood, but that's fine. I know where I can acquire more. Very valuable resource node known as trees. Coconut slime. Okay, that's different. Wasn't expecting that. Neat. Hard coconut. As opposed to what, the soft ones? You know, it'd be really funny if when you knock the tree down, a coconut fell out of it. And if it hit you, it hit you in the head and did like boulder damage. That'd be kind of funny. I would be amused by that if that was a, a feature in this. All right, old man, let's go. I want to kill Skeletron. Make it be nighttime now. See, I would have already taken care of that portable sundial situation, but I guess Relogic went and decided they needed to uh, add more nonsense to the nonsense. See right here, you got your enchanted sundial. All right, now, so you got this, and you got to shimmer it into an enchanted moon dial because this needs to be a thing, I suppose. And now it was added to the portable sundial recipe, and I already know where the shimmer is. I just, I really can't be bothered to go down there, and then I gotta go fishing for another golden crate, and I'm, I, it's uh, so much work. I, well, I don't wanna, so I'm not gonna. It'll be all right. We're, we're fine. When I get into hard mode, it'll be super easy. All I'm gonna have to do is just, you know, open up Heroes Mod, and I mean, I'm all I'm gonna have to do is go fishing for a little. Anyways, how about Skeletron? There we go. Look at that guy. Mr. Uh, he's got a diamond in his head. I forgot that was a thing that he is now, I guess. Diamond headed Skeletron. Hey, we got all the things going out and doing this stuff. He's going to die. Oh, we're going to do big damage to him. I got a massive arena. And as you can see, I, out I can outmaneuver him because I've got great speed and swiftness. And he's, he hits me with his thing and it makes the snail. And we don't like snail. Snail's bad. See, now this is the part of sort of like getting into the uh, the progression of summoner here, I guess you could say, uh, that annoys the hell out of me because I really hate repositioning sentries. Like, I, I like that the uh, Old Ones Army thing gives me summon damage, but I would rather have more minions than more sentries because repositioning these guys, especially when I can't hit the broad side of a skeleton head anyway, I need a, a sentry that moves with me and does damage while on the go. But they just call those minions. So, you know. Oh god, now we got the, the skulls. This is when we die. The fight got moderately more challenging and it annoys me, so we're gonna tunnel vision until the head's dead. Either that, or I can just stand here and go like this. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens here. Maybe I can just do circles and it'll be fine. Usually circles is okay for this phase. Now yeah, look at that. There's the summoner AI again, focusing on an enemy that's not what I want them to. No, that's good. Don't mind the giant skull shooting random nonsense at everything. What you really need to shoot is the zombie a hundred miles away, that's not a threat to anybody. That's the target, let me tell you. If they ever make a Terraria 2, and my god, I hope they do, because Terraria 1 right now, I gotta tell you, has got very little left for me to enjoy about it. Hopefully they just don't make a summoner class. All right, big circles, big circles, here we go, here we go. And here we go, and 82, and 55, 12, and we're done. We got boned. Well, they got boned. There we go, Skeletron hand, and we've unlocked the uh the big bad dungeon we're gonna go home now now i can buy all the loot that i need come here lady how are you how's it going i need to i need to buy something here do you sell modded treasure bags i mean if you don't i'm just not gonna get the item i mean but i'd like to 
Certainly. Oh, you just don't sell nothing. Vanilla treasure bags, though. You'll give me that. 75 gold for Skeletron's nonsense. I don't think so. Hey, Brain of Cthulhu. We'll open one of those up. That's a fun thing. What have I done now? I got more quests. I got quests. Checked out the asteroid fields. I certainly have. Automatic worms made out of metal streaking through the sky. Interesting. So now you want me to go up there? Two star dancers and an energized metal. And you got another quest. Hello? Yes? Sea break pearl. Hearing rumors about it popping up recently. Rare treasure. I think that's the thing we have to use to summon the tide? I believe. Anything else? Any more quests? Anybody have anything to say to me? Anything at all? Oh, you. You have something for me. Hi, how are you? Bit of unusual request. Strange energy emanating from the frozen tundra. Ancient myths. What is that? Charging a club. Uh, okay, cool. Ice deity sculpture. That's neat. Looks like melee, though, so I don't want any. Oop, squirrel. Golden squirrel. No, wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Come here. There you, there you go. All right, we got a gold squirrel. And I'm going to sell this gold squirrel and make big money. Big money. 13 gold. Big money. I guess that's big money. Can I go to the uh, to the place now? Where's the guy what sells me the things that lets me teleport? Oh, here's the guy that sells me stuff to make me upgrade. We're going to buy this stuff because, you know, who on earth wants to go out there and farm things? That's just annoying. So we don't do that here. See, what you got to understand is that I'm rich. So, you know. I don't really care. All right, got more hops and we got more flight. Now we can go over there and massacre that dungeon. Let's go on over there and we'll do it. Hey, there he is, Horus. Are you the guy who sells teleporty stuff? You sure are. Where are you going here? There we go. Now we're in. Let's get to it. We're going in here at warp speed because there's very little I need from the dungeon as far as I know, unless there's new items in here that exist for me as a summoner. Otherwise, there's not really much of a point. I mean, there's a point right here. It's the point that's on the end of the spike trap. Now we're going here, warp speed, we're zooming. We're looking for very specific things. Oh no, it's a trap. Okay, we got this. This is what we need already. There we go, another minion. Now we run, we gotta run, we just gotta go. Oh, it opened up into the floor below. There's a trap down there. Oh, we got we got hit, we got hit. We taken, we're taking fire, it's all right. Oh, alchemy table, there we go. Next one off the list, checkity doo -dah. It's a mimic, it's a mimic chest. I don't have a key, I need a key to get to the mimic chest. He's got the guy in it. There's a guy in there. I need the guy. All right, we got it. We got it. We're good to go. We're good to go here. It's all good. It's fine. We got books. Sneak our way through. It's all good. There's this guy. He's getting annihilated. There's a mechanic. Check. Knock that off the list. Good to go. Moving on. Always be moving forward. If you're not moving forward, then you're not moving fast enough. This is a trap, very obviously, but that's fine. I'll break it open. Oh, God. I've fallen, and I, I'm stuck. Help me. Go. There we go. There's the key. Dungeon slime, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. All right, we can buy more of those if necessary. Maybe I can go back and find the uh, the mimic chest now. Maybe he's back here. I hope he is, because I want that. It is a valuable item. If not, then, well, whatever. Is he here? Is he not here? Oh, he despawned. That's fine. We'll open the chest up. It's probably got big stuff in it. Big valuable. Uh, it's a Muramasa. Never mind. Oh, what is that? We've got a ghast. And we've got a uh, Dark Alchemist, my god. There's all kinds of stuff flying around after me now. Oh god, I can't wait for wings. Walking is for such chumps. Tell you what. There's a desert chest, so that takes care of that for me. That's my uh, post, what is it, post uh, Plantera chest I've got to grab right there. All right, that kind of looks like a D, I guess. It's close enough anyway. And we got bad guys coming. Here they come. They're on their way. Tally counter check, knock that off the list. We do big AoE damage, big damage, big damage. Come on, come on, big damage, big damage. I don't have time to sit here and wait. I just need big damage. I got a little helmet, don't know what it does, don't care, doesn't matter. The guy that was wearing it is dead, that's what matters. Another chest, oh, there's a guy, there's a guy. Come on, I need a thing, give me a thing. Give me a key, there is nothing going on right now that it prevents you from giving me a key. Here's the corruption one. Unfortunately, I never use that item because outside of modded, it really is, it's very valuable, but in modded, it's kind of worthless. Oh, what is that? It's a cube. It's a dungeon cube. It's quite durable. Gives pink bricks, too. That's neat, I guess. Oh, I got a key. All right, well, there he is. There's the guy. Get out of here. Come on. And we got him. We got Stanford. Hello, Stanford. I love Stanford. He's my boy. I have no idea what he does or what his significance is, but it's a slime and I got it. I've unlocked it. Cross it off the list. Moving on. All right, I think we got everything that we need from here, including a special fancy summon item, apparently. The Sumerian Scepter, which I guess is kind of sort of in the same vein as the uh, that little magic sword we had there earlier, so that's kind of neat. Got all the other valuables, though, the essentials. We got some pink bricks and slimes, thorns, magic missile, all that good stuff. Plague vials. We got ourselves a cobalt shield, Nazar, a tally counter, shadow keys taken care of, enough bones to make my uh, spinal tap. 
our alchemy table, and we've got our bewitching table, which is wonderful. So we're good to go. We are pure, powerful, super summoner and amazingness. All right, there we go. There we are. Spinal tap. Beautiful. Performs better against multiple targets and most whips. Does that mean this is going to be really good against the uh, Star Plate Voyager? Because that'd be neat. If it was, if that was the case. Were that to be the case, I'd be fine with it. Is there any other weird thing that I can make out of the stuff that I have here? Obsidian Skull. Obsidian Shield. I guess there is the Obsidian Set that I can make. Isn't that made out of bones? Oh no, I need a Hellforge. That's what I need. I just didn't go down to get one of those yet. Whatever, that'll be a job for next time. I think we've done quite enough today. So I think I'm going to call it an episode here. We've taken down the Ancient Avian Skeletron, and we mopped the floor with the dungeon because it's a cakewalk. I sleep through that stuff. Waste of my time, tell you what. We got some good stuff out of it, though, so I'm happy with that. And like I said, I think I am going to call it an episode here. I think that's plenty content done for this time. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.